right, so I've been talking to my friends and I came to the realisation that a lot of people will complain that they can't get horse anatomy right, but if you give them a picture of a horse with wrong anatomy, they can't pinpoint what it is that is wrong with the horse. So I thought I would, I collected a bunch of photographs with horses with bad anatomy and I thought that I would go through them and see if, if you want to, you can pause the video before I explain what's wrong with each photo and try and list what you think wrong. So the first horse I have here is this one. Some people may look at it and think, well, there's nothing wrong with this horse. But it's when you come to look closer at it that you will see that there are several faults usually at each one that would make it a difficult horse to ride or if you had it in real life. The main focus of this horse is the pattern, which we can see here. Now, some people may still not be able to see what is wrong with it, so I will show you. Most horses, if you ever read any books, here's your fetlock, your cannon bone, and they will show you your right angle. And a 45 degree. If you see this horse, if you do that, it's way upright, which means this horse has upright pasturing. Now, this would cause issues if you think when a horse lands, its pasturing ends up going like this as a spring. Now, if this bit here is shorter, then this can't happen and the horse ends up landing upright, causing injury to tendons and other bits that's there. So that is why you avoid horses with upright pasterns. Next one is this horse. You may look at it and think, yes, there looks like there's several things wrong with this horse, but you may want to pause it and see if you can work out what's wrong with it. But here's what I see is wrong with this horse. First of all, its shoulder. Look how upright it is. This would mean the horse's movement is very restricted. If you think about a dressage horse, its leg would end out up here in its extended trot. Now, most horse, the way you judge a horse's trot abilities is the angle of the trot, the shoulder. So, a good dressage horse, its shoulder, when it's standing still, would be that sort of angle, meaning it could go out and extend like that. Whereas this horse here has a very minim minimally angled shoulder, meaning its front leg would only be going up to here, giving it a very restricted trot. Then, next thing with this horse is its back. It does look odd. Now, the reason that you can see the height difference is because the horse is standing unevenly, but that is not what we're looking at. What we're looking at is the length of the back. Now, if you think trying to put a saddle on this, there's an area here called the loins, and the, if the saddle sits on this area, this wee area here, it will cause the horse to buck. This is why when you're learning to put saddles on, you must get them in the correct position, otherwise you will end up on the ground. But this here, that means this wee area here is the only space that the person has to fit a saddle for this horse, meaning it's going to be very tricky to get a saddle to fit for this horse. So that's what's wrong with that bit of the horse. Last thing on this horse is the neck. You notice it's basically the same length width the whole way up, leaving little air space for airways and such. Most, If you have a good horse, the neck should be joining down somewhere around here, giving it a good, solid base, the neck. So that's the three things that I can see wrong with the horse. Now, here's another horse where you mightn't see what's wrong with it. It looks a pretty average thoroughbred, very lean, ready to race, but if you look at the back here, this here looks rather odd. It's very high and very pointy. The next thing we have to look at is the back angle. If you think about most horses, they don't have a straight line down their back. This is what's known as a sickle back. The horse has very upright pasturings here again, and then the rest of the leg is pretty much straight. There isn't a lot of Joints, meaning the horse wouldn't be able to jump well and its suspension wouldn't be good. So this horse will only be good for light work and anything that doesn't involve power from the back end. So that's what's wrong with that horse. Now, I 
I hope everybody can work out what is wrong with this horse, apart from it being grossly obese. It's just an awful display of anatomy. Now, we have this huge fat shoulder here. It's gross. And then we have a very high croup. This horse also has a sickle bag, as we can see from the hugely upright pastern up here. And huge quarters. Now, this horse is grossly. I don't even know how these people took this horse showing. Again, it has the really narrow, consistently thick neck. And then an out of proportion head, the head's tiny. And then it's, it's just grossly fat, really, with upright pasterns. It's just horrendous. This wee horse, at the moment, is skinny, but this is the only very example I could find. But if this horse wasn't so skinny, it probably wouldn't have the issue I'm going to point out. Now, this shoe here is the neck. This is what would be known as a U neck. It's where you have the withers here. And then there's a dip before you enter the neck muscle, which would be here. It's got a well set on neck, but it's got a new neck with the dip after the withers. This one, just because it's skinny, some horses have it just because that's the way they are. This pony here, again, has the issue with the same thickness neck. Oops, wrong there. So yeah, this pony has the issue with the same thickness neck. So being a chunky native Connemara pony, its neck should be joining on down here and it should have a good solid neck. So that's what's wrong with that wee pony. Now, this pony here is a, a good example of the correct and proportioned anatomy. So you've got a good chunky shoulder here. Well set on neck, it would go up like that. It's got a good sloping back, a medium or reasonable length for his size. His pastern are 45 degrees, which means he doesn't have a sickle back because he doesn't have this very weird point at the back of his bum, and he's got well rounded quarters. This is a really nice proportioned pony. Now, if you're not used to looking at ponies, this guy should be more your taste. He is an Irish sport horse, Italian, standing nearby me. And we can see that he has a really good shoulder, good shoulder angle, meaning he would be good at dressage. He has nice sloping quarters, a good length back, and his patterns are good length as well. And a well set on neck. So, this is a brief overview of what to look out for when you're looking at your drawings, what doesn't look right. Deep chest, well angled shoulders, sloping quarters, and not upright back hind legs or pasterns. So, I hope this wee walkthrough helped a bit. So, I shall do another sort of thing with these at some point.